The iPhone 7 just went on sale yesterday, but it actually gives us a lot of hints as to what Apple's planning for their next model, the iPhone 8. Hey, what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and in this video, I'm going to be going over what we know so far about Apple's next iPhone model, which is going to be the 10th anniversary iPhone. <laughs> So the introduction of the original iPhone in 2007 in the App Store the following year marks dramatic leaps forward in the world of mobile devices, but Apple really hasn't had a lot of breakthrough moments like that since then. Its track record over the last few years shows us though amassing of features over several generations that contribute something bigger down the line. For instance, Siri was the digital voice assistant unveiled in 2011, but it's just now beginning to show its full potential as Siri now works with HomeKit and an increasing array of apps. If history repeats itself, the new elements of the iPhone 7, the new static home button, the dual lens camera on the 7 Plus, and even the move away from the headphone jack may prove to be the foundation for some bigger changes down the line. If you're not happy with this year's edition, Apple's big 10th anniversary iPhone could be where the company really pulls out all the stops. So for one thing, Apple actually could be planning to make their next iPhone model completely wireless. The iPhone 7 has no headphone jack, but what if the iPhone had no wires at all? At the iPhone 7 press conference, Phil Schiller talked a lot about wireless experiences, and while he was mainly focusing on the wireless AirPods, his comments could definitely be taken as a mission statement of sorts for the entire device. Between the AirPods and the removal of the headphone jack, Apple is forcing your hand to give up on wired headphones or at least consider it. And that could just be the beginning. Next year's iPhone could do away with the last physical wire, the lightning cable needed for charging. That means Apple might finally embrace wireless charging, which is a feature found on other marquee devices like Samsung's Galaxy S7. The Apple Watch already uses a form of wireless charging, and the QI standard, which is embraced by the likes of Samsung, already drives wireless charging stations in thousands of public spaces and 50 models of cars. Those stations are just waiting for the next iPhone, which really could be the first true wireless experience. Bluetooth 5, meanwhile, promises to quadruple the range and double the speed of existing Bluetooth technology, and it might really be the answer to those skeptics who still shun wireless headphones. With Bluetooth 5, basically any pair of headphones should work pretty reliably, since the new version of Bluetooth, which could come as soon as this year, could also mean more things in a home being paired, or also faster communication with the Apple Watch. And speaking of getting rid of things, the iPhone 7 could be the very last iPhone model to have any kind of home button. All the iPhone 7 really has is a circular indentation which doesn't click at all, it just provides a simulated click when pressure is applied via haptics. It's not a far reach to see that button just completely go away in favor of controls moving onto the screen, since the haptic feedback beneath the phone could mean that any part of the device could make for a virtual home button. As early as last year, I was beginning to think that Apple was setting up this move with the iPhone 6s, but it sounds like they're pushing it out just a little bit further. No home button means you can cram a larger display into a smaller body, and a lot of times that's really what people want. Now apart from everything I've said so far about the iPhone 8, one final feature that could be coming to Apple's next phone might have been hinted at with the new Apple Watch. The premium version of the Apple Watch Series 2 is going to be made of ceramic, which the company boasts is four times tougher than stainless steel. The next iPhone could actually be using the same type of material. After all, the Apple Watch was the first Apple product to use the Taptic engine, which now powers the 3D Touch and Home button on the iPhone 7. Perhaps the ceramic Apple Watch serves as a test run for Apple's next iPhone. But anyways, that's pretty much all just my conjecture at this point, there's no guarantee that Apple's going to be doing any of this, I'm going to be trying out the iPhone 7 in just a couple of days, so definitely stay tuned for that, but in the meantime, give me your opinions on what you'd like to see Apple to release in the future in the comment section down below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.